こんにちは、エリンです。今日も一緒に日本語を勉強しましょう。When I first started learning English, idioms were mind blowing and extremely baffling for me. For example, jogging one's memory, pain in the butt, or a piece of cake. There are curious idioms like those in Japanese too, where the literal meaning of the word differs from the actual meaning of the phrase. Here are some of those phrases. へそを曲げる literally means to bend one's belly button, but it actually means to get upset. お茶を濁す means to cloud one's tea, but it actually means to do something half heartedly. Another idiom like this is a b u r a wo u r u which means to sell oil. But it implies to goof off when you're supposed to be working. Hana ga takai means to have a high nose, but it means to be proud. Another example using a body part is kao ga hiroi, which means to have a wide face, but it means to be well known and have a lot of friends. Another way of saying this is kao ga kiku, where kiku. Means it works. You can also use kiku in other sayings like sake ga kiku, which means the sake is strong, it does its job. Nodo kara te ga deru describes the state when a hand comes out of one's throat, but it actually implies the state when one strongly desires for something. Some Japanese idioms come from proverbs. Koto waza The ones that originate from stories from ancient China are referred to as koji seigo. For example, there is the phrase dasoku, which can be used to describe something completely unnecessary. This comes from an ancient Chinese tale from the state of Chu, where an art competition was held. The subject the artist had to portray was a snake. One artist finished earlier than all the other artists. Thus, decided to draw on legs on a snake. As a result, he missed his chance of winning his prize. These kinds of stories often have moralizing messages or kyokun, a highly favored subject among Asian cultures. Try using these idioms next time you're having a conversation with a Japanese person. I'm sure it'll impress them. 次回もお楽しみにまたね